morning and we are looking at position vectors today so you can start making some notes with the heading lesson objectives and the date underline and in Welsh and we're off so that's our definition make some notes on that the position vector tells you the position of the point from the origin okay now normally when you have a vector say 2i plus 3j you can start it anywhere it's two across and three up because it's they're both positive the two and the three are positive so we can uh, start that anywhere but once we call for a position vector 2i plus 3j it has to start at the origin so that's our definition there position vector it's got to start at the origin so if we draw um, the position vector a there its vector is OA starts always start on the origin if we look at the position vector B its, ve its vector is OB now if we want to find the vector AB we can write that as AB so let's write that here we can say AB is equal to now to get from A to B I can travel back down this vector OA so that's a negative OA and then travel up here to get to B so that's plus OB I think that's easier to write as OB minus OA now that's all well and good um, I, I find it easier if we label the vectors so there's my OA if I label it as A and there's my position vector B label it as B so we're looking at the same vectors I want to travel this time from A to B so AB my vector AB and that's equal to I've got to travel back down this vector so it's negative a or minus a and then along here so plus b so that's a vector of b minus a so I want you to hit pause draw the diagrams and make some notes and then we'll move on to an example Right, an example. So if we make some notes. So we've got the uh, position vectors A and B in the diagram. We've got their coordinates 1, 5, and 7, 4. And then we want to write A and B in terms of I and J and then find the vector AB. So let me just call this example here for your notes. If you want to write this down. So the position vector of so if we say a here, position vector of a is OA, it's given by OA. That's its definition. Now OA is given by the x value, which is one. So that's just one i or i. And then it goes up one, two, three, four, five squares. So plus five j. B, position vector of B given by OB. So it's a travel across there, seven and four. So I can just read it out from the coordinates there. So that's going to be seven I plus four J. So A and B are done. Now I need to find the vector AB. I'm going to draw these. Um, not so good at drawing straight lines on here so I'm going to try with a ruler no, hopeless with a ruler so I'm going to draw this freehand so that's my vector OA and my vector 
after OB. Always, if you can, sketch them. I want to find the vector AB. Always sketch. So we're always trying to use geometry. The more we use geometry, the easier it makes it for us. So to find AB, I travel back down OA. So AB is given by negative OA. Um, plus OB as we did on the previous page and so that's OB minus OA I'm sure you noticed it at the top of the page there now I know what OB is OB is 7i plus 4j And I also know what OA is. I'm going to put brackets around it because that's negative. So minus I plus 5J. So if I collect my I's, I've got 7I minus I, so 6I. And then collect my J's. I got 4J minus 5J. So 4 minus 5 is minus 1. So... Uh, I think you can make some notes and then we'll look at another example so hit pause when you're ready to look at the next example hit play again if you just underline example good okay example two OA is given by 5i minus 2j and then they've given us a b 3i plus 4j find the position vector of b now the position vector of b is given by ob Oops, O, B, like so. Now I know that A, B is equal to O, B minus O, A. I know O, A and I know A, B. So I can use those to find O, B. So I can say O, B. It's going to be equal to taking that over the other side, AB plus OA. So that's going to give me um, 3i plus 4j plus, I'll always use the brackets, 5i minus 2j. Now I don't have any issues with negatives, so I can just go straight ahead 3i plus 5i 8i and then I've got 4j minus 2j so plus 2j that's the first part that's part a in part b it says find the exact form uh, with the exact value of the magnitude of ob so we want to find the magnitude of ob That's part B of the question. So the magnitude of OB is going to be given by, if we recall, the square root of uh, 8 squared plus 2 squared. It's going to give me the square root of 64 plus 4, which is the square root of 68. Can I simplify that? Well, I've got the square root of... Hmm. I've got a square root of... I've got 4 times 17 will work. Square root... Oops. Square root of... 4 times the square root of 17. Yep. Square root of 4 is 2. Root 17. So as before, hit pause. When you're ready, we can do some questions then. Hit play. 
So exercise 11D, it's just the seven questions, nice and simple. Page 243, and up to question seven. I've got the challenge question as well. Okay. Um, I'm going to attach the questions to the assignment. So good luck.